Hi and welcome to another quick e-commerce review and today we are looking at a site from Italy and it's at these points uh, in my life where I'm grateful for Google Translate so I've got a you know some idea of what's going on. Um, Stefano sent me this link through Instagram and if you would like your website reviewed just connect with me on Instagram you'll get a message just telling you what the service is about and then just DM me your details and if we can We'll whack up uh, a quick review just like this one to help you sell more online. Now, Stefano uh, said to me that he would um, like to be more present on social media. That was his uh, main request. So before we get into that, I just wanted to have a quick, uh, I just wanted to try and get my head around um, what it is the website does. And so we have this site here which sells a variety of food products, which all look insanely tasty let me tell you um, and they look great so we've got uh, a lot of food products on here um, and I had a look at the Instagram so this is Stefano's uh, Instagram Facebook I had a look at Stefano's Facebook and notice Stefano you've got 6,000 people who like your page which is cool um, we had a look at uh, your shops in Facebook I keep wanting to say Instagram Facebook and you've got 800 people liking that. And then we had a look at the competitor you sent me, um, and they've got 17,000 people on there. And your competitor, as best as I understand it, is a bookstra a bookstra a bookshop stroke restaurant which sells very similar products to you. And so part of me wonders whether you're just trying to sell locally, or you're, you're, you sell these products locally, but you're using the web to try and reach out, you know, a bit more either nationally, even internationally. Okay, so that's the sort of the background. Let's just put uh, uh, something on numbers. You said you want to be more active on social media. And I notice you've got 6,000 people liking your page, but look at this one. This one's got 17,000 likes. Now I want you to look. This post here on the 13th of January, um, where they put some information on, had five likes. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five likes out of 17,000. Let's look at the next post, has nine likes. The next post, eight, three, eight. You can see where I'm going with this, right? That actually, just because you have big Facebook numbers doesn't mean you get good Facebook interaction. And this uh, all happened a long time ago when Facebook decided actually, whatever you post on Facebook, it was only gonna to show to a very, very small percentage uh, of your page followers and you had to pay to promote it to everybody. Um, the other thing that I would say about trying to be more active on social media, what we found is with e-commerce, you, you, to be more active, you've got to have a combination of, yes, we want to promote our products, but predominantly you want to create posts that create engagement, that ask questions, um, that get people involved in what you're doing, and these tend to be much more engaging, but you do have to pay to promote them. Uh, to your customers. I know with e-commerce a lot of people feel like um, social media is like you know the answer to everything. I would say for you guys I don't know what the age of your audience is or even where they are. Are they actually on Facebook? Because if I look you know people just aren't interacting. And one of the things that I've found recently is Facebook groups obviously they work very well we have our own Facebook group. But Instagram is a great uh, social media platform to look at because you've got stories on there you can get a lot more interaction with people um, and so just putting one post a day on Instagram just about what you um, you know what's going on some top tips or something like that like I noticed you on your site had a blog going on here um, and I'm assuming these are sort of all recipes um, that people can sort of follow or understand a bit more about the products um, those kind of things go great on social media to post those as long as they're you know engaging um, and then you would use something like stories to document more what you're doing during the day so have a go try that um, but unfortunately I think to be more active you've got to have a budget and you've got to pay but you've got to have something that people want to interact with so maybe you know um, there's a competition to win some of your olive oil would go down well or you know a competition to win some of your food products would be great and um, they're more interactive people tend to get more involved with those kind of things I tend to find social media is a bit of a numbers game 
numbers bring you credibility, but they don't they don't bring you the corresponding results at all. You're much better off focusing on just generating great traffic to your website. So with all that said, I hope that's helpful. Let's have a quick look at your website because it'd be rude not to while we're here, right? Um, the thing which jumped out to me uh, about your website is your hero imagery. So your hero images are these images here, the first images that people see when they come to your website. Um, fresh pasta, which is great. Um, you, you've got a picture there of fresh pasta, uh, which is cool. I would make your headline much, much bigger, much more obvious what it is. But the one thing, my friend, you are missing here is a big shop now button or buy now button. So yes, you've got that beautiful shot. Make the headline bigger, make it super obvious what it is. On special offer, only 20 euros, whatever it is, buy now, right? Because you want people to engage. You want people to click your links, click your buttons. Um, let's have a quick look at a product page. Um, I, I don't quite know why there's a picture of the this product with the book. I'm not sure what it is I'm buying here. Oh, every book published. So maybe I'm buying a book and a product. So I, Okay, I appreciate that this may be a cultural thing, but again, it's not super obvious to me what it is that I'm buying there. So I'm going to go click on something I'm a bit more safe with, um, olive oil. We all love olive oil. Here we go. So we've got, again, I just think some more pictures would be helpful, more pictures of the products, more photos of the products. Even a video of somebody talking about the product on your website would be really, really helpful. Uh, I notice review zero. You've got to go get the reviews, guys. Get at least five reviews per product on your website and work hard at doing that. You know, um, get them, get them on there because people just they're very reluctant to buy products with zero reviews. Okay, um, and if you if you want to know more about reviews, then check out the e-commerce mastery course because we talk a lot about it in there. Even how to get reviews from people uh, that you know when you've got no sales. How do you do that? So, um, quick plug of the course. Uh, all that said. Um, yeah, I would get some reviews, add some more photos, but make that hero section much, much clearer. And like I say, when it comes to social media, you've got to be active, you've got to be consistent, you've got to put stuff out there every single day, but it's got to be stuff that people want to interact with that's going to help you build your brand, right? So give away product in exchange for reviews or whatever it is, tag in friends, so on and so forth. Um, be creative, but be consistent, right? And um, don't just try the latest thing because it's the latest thing do what works for you. So I hope you found that helpful. And like I said, if you want me to do a review on your website and answer your most pressing e-commerce questions for your business, reach out to me on Instagram at Matt Edmondson and I will be happy to help. Okay, we'll see you in the next video, guys.